Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you are coming across shutdown issues or problems on your Windows computer. This tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the star menu. Just left click on the star button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. As for file name, usually I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. For export range, select all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer that you can access it in the future if you needed to. And then if you ever need to import it back in, just for left click on file and then select import and then just navigate over to the file location. So very straightforward. So now that you have created the backup, we're ready to begin and we're going to start by expanding the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the control panel folder. So again, double click or left click on the little arrow next to that to expand that one as well. Now you want to left click on the desktop folder one time. And now on the right side, you want to look for something that says wait to KILL app times. So You want to look for that down here. If you do not see one, we're going to go ahead and right click in a blank area, select new, and then select string value. Type in WAIT, then TO, then KILLAPP, TIMES, and you want to have the capitalization as I have it on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard once you have that in here. If you already have one, we're just going to go ahead and edit the value of it. So go ahead and double click on that. And you want to set value data to 2000. So just type in 2000 in here. Don't spell it out. Just type 2000. Left click on OK. Also, if you have an auto end task D word value, which I do not have here, you want to go ahead and just double click on that and set it to 1. So again, auto end task. But if you don't have one, don't worry about it. So we're going to go ahead now and minimize or close out of the registry editor. It doesn't really matter which one you choose to do. I'm going to just close out of it for today's tutorial. And we're going to go and open up the start menu once again. Type in CMD. Best match should go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to just copy the first one for the first part of the video. And that will be the CHK command. So check disk and then space forward slash F and then followed by a space forward slash R. So I'm going to just copy it from my description of my video. I'll go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to run it. Should not take very long here. So it cannot run because the volume isn't used by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? Type the Y key on your keyboard. Hit enter. So restart your computer. Let it run through the check disk utility. It will take a few minutes to run, so you just want to be patient with that. Another thing you can do once you've restarted your computer is then run the SFC, or System File Check, utility. And that, again, will be very simple as well. So we're just going to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a couple moments to run so please be patient.
Okay, so once that is done, I would suggest closing out of here, restarting your computer as you did with the first command. So hopefully that, again, would have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try if you've restarted your computer and you're still experiencing a problem would be to open up the start menu again, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T like we did before, right click on the registry editor entry, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now we're going to go expand the HK local machine folder, so double click on that or left click on a little arrow next to that, giving you guys a couple options there. And now you want to expand the system folder in the same fashion you did with the previous folder, so the HK local machine and the system folder. And now you want to go down to current control set, expand that one. Expand control, so double click on that. And now we're going to go down to session manager right here and now you want to go ahead and expand that and now there should be a folder that says memory management in here so go ahead and just left click on that one time on the right side you want to look for a D word value that says clear page file at shutdown you want to make sure the value data is zero over here so it should say zero in parentheses if not you want to go double click on that D word value delete whatever's in here so if it says one two three doesn't matter you want to delete it type the number zero in here and go ahead and left click on OK so just giving you guys another option there personally again I would suggest following along with these steps I did in this video we're kind of going from most likely to less likely to kind of resolve the problem but you know we gotta go through different methods to hopefully fix it so gonna go ahead and close out the registry editor again here one last thing that we're going to try in this video would entail opening up the star menu, typing in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager directly above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to expand the display adapter section, so double click on that. And now it should be display adapter list under here. You want to right click on that and then select update driver. You want to try searching automatically for updated driver software. You can also go online and download automated utilities if you're using if you're using the video or AMD or or Intel integrated graphics, something along those lines, something along those lines, and go ahead and just download their automated installer that will go ahead and find and locate whatever drivers are applicable for your computer. But in our case, it looks like the best drivers are already installed. You can also take it a step further and search for updated drivers on Windows Update. However, I feel like we have exhausted most of the methods I want to go through in this video. Another thing you could try would be to run a system restore. So if you did have the star menu open, type in system restore here. It should say create a restore point. So if you don't have any restore points created, so I'm actually turned off here. This is not going to obviously be applicable if you don't have any restore points created before this incident occurred. 
So obviously, you know, just another kind of more personalized option here. So let's just say you did have a restore point already created on your computer and this option says system restore. You can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. If you went ahead and left clicked on the system restore button here, if it was available, that means there would be restore points saved on your computer. And I would recommend trying to restore it back to the most recently created one. It all goes in ascending order on a list. So just to give you guys a visual example here, we open that up. You select next here, and then you can see the system restore point that I just created. So listen in here. Hopefully you have one that was not created five seconds ago, like if you were just following what I'm doing on the screen, which I hope you're not in regards to creating restore point. I just wanted to create an example for you guys here. And you would just go ahead and select the most recently created one and then select next. And then by clicking finish, you would restart your computer and it would begin the system restore process. So Pretty straightforward tutorial guys, I think I covered several different methods on how I would go about resolving this issue, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.